Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today we'll be learning how to do a simple balloon shark over here. So it's very cute. It even has teeth. Alright, so you can draw the eyes to be more gentle as well. It doesn't have to be so fierce. Alright, so let's go through what we need today. So we will need 260 balloons. We need at least four blue. It depends on um, how big your shark is, but you might need more. Usually I take five, usually I take six as well. And you need just one, just one 260 white for the teeth and the eyes. And lastly, a black permanent marker for the eyes and the nose. All right, all right, let's get started. So let's begin by inflating the blue balloon. this long, tie it up. I'm going to start by doing a long sausage and a bubble. And we're going to pinch twist this bubble. And we're going to it like this. And this part over here. We're going to do a pinch twist. So one bubble and pinch twist. Next we're gonna take this also over here, tie it back, put a pinch twist. Alright. So let's continue from here. One bubble. And one pinch twist. So I think we're going to do one long sausage again. One bubble over here. And pinch twist the bubble. And one more time we're going to curve it. And tie it back. So we from there like this. We inflate the next blue balloon. Tie it up. Put clear on this long. We're going to tie it to the same place over here. For the same level over here. Do a bubble over here. With a new balloon, do a bubble. And connect it to the other pinch twist over here. The other over here. Right, and tie it in. So come like this. Now we're gonna do a V over here, triangle shape ring. So they're going to come up. One long sausage. Two long sausages. This part over here going to tie it back to the other side. Triangle over here. I'm gonna tie it off. Now we have done a triangle on this side. Then do a triangle on this side as well. So we're gonna tie this part over here. 
through here. Next, we're going to connect them together to form a triangle, a V-shape. Okay. One long sausage here. One long sausage here. Okay. Then we're going to lock them together. So you are done locking them. We're gonna put it apart first, put it aside first. Take your next blue balloon, inflate it. Come around this length. Alright. We're gonna do three loops. So first loop. Remember, take the nozzle, slot through to the other side. So you will stay secure. Second loop. And the third loop. Like this, like this. I'm gonna take your shark. I'm gonna put one of the loops through any of the triangles. Like this. We'll go through. And one of the loops will go through the triangle. So we'll go to the other loops at the sides. I will take this, we're gonna secure this and this together. So what I'll do is that I will go through this underneath. I'll go through all the way. Line with something like this. We're almost done. And this part is the mouth. It's the top fin. And these two are the side fins. And we want to the tail. So what I do is that I will lock them together like this. So the top and the bottom lock together. Like this. I'll do two pinch twists. So one pinch twist. Oops, burst. Don't worry, I'll do another one. I'll put this aside first. Like okay, tie it up. Back to the part that I deflated. So I'll deflate everything first so that it won't get in my way while I twist. I'll tie it up. Okay, let's continue. So, two pinch twists. So one bubble. One pinch twist. Another bubble and one piece. Let's try 
this the previous nozzles. I just tie it around. One round. Go back in here. Pull through the other side. And pull tight. And go back down to the pull pull twist again. So this will really tighten the pull pinch twist. So it's really tight right now. Alright, last thing to do is two loops. So one loop. Two loops. Now we can tear off the excess. Remaining this side around. Randomly. To secure it. And adjust everything nicely. So that's the frame of the shot. So to recap, this is the mouth over here. This is the top fin, the two side fins over here, and the tail over here. Now let's move on to the teeth and the eyes. So we're gonna get our 260 white and inflate it. Right like this. Not too much because we're doing a lot of bubbles. Tie it up. Now we're going to attach it to the top part of the mouth and then do downwards like this, across and back up again, over here. So let me tie in. We're going to do bubbles now. One, two, do a few more twists as it might come off. Three, four, five. As you can see, as I'm doing a twist of the bubble, right? I'm still holding on to the first bubble over here. I'm holding on to it. Keep my pin deep. Alright. Seven. So now I'll check if it's long enough. I'll just carefully pull across. So it should kind of have a little tension so that it's still secure to its mouth. Alright, so let's tie it in. So 9 is not a definite number, it might be 7 or 10 to you But it's 9 for me right now So there's no right or wrong After you're done with this, don't tear off this Don't tear off this Because of course we're going to move directly to the eyes So the eyes are very simple Just two sausages So one sausage same size, two sausage. Take this and tie it back to the other side. Alright, so it's that simple. So we don't need this anymore, we'll tear it off. And let's put the remaining into the body to hide it. And we'll just pull it through the bottom. And hide it in one of the pinches. There we go. So there's the eyes and the teeth. Now let's move on to the drawing. So for the drawing, I've got my black permanent marker. Alright, so we'll start drawing the eyes. So how we'll draw, I'll draw is I'll draw I'll draw two for two circles first. All black. 
another one. There we go. You can stop here if you want a friendlier shark. But if you want a more fierce one, you can draw the eyebrows. Looks like this. So straight down, diagonally. Like this. Same for the other side. Like this. You can thicken the ends over here. Alright, last thing to draw is the nose. So very simple, just two dots. So one dot, two dots. Like this. So there we have it. A simple balloon truck. That's the back view. Okay, so that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section below. And I hope you learned something new today. Goodbye!